Hey guys, this is Caesar from GamerGraphics.com and I'm going to show you how I route a tube uh, just for show rather quickly to see how I get a tube from this fitting to this fitting going through these center points of the clips and missing this boss right here. <clears throat> and um, again, it's just I'm going to use uh, the datum point sketch tool to accomplish that. So I'm going to use File New, call this Tube. Make it millimeters. I'm going to save it. Go back to my assembly. I'm going to insert the tube at default. Hit OK. And I'm going to turn my planes on for you. And I'm going to make my part, my two part active, by right clicking and hit activate. I'm going to select my sketch datum point tool and I'm going to select my first fitting I'm going to add my references hit OK and I'm just going to randomly place some points um, to get me started Okay, so that one's done. I'm going to check mark out of that. Now these are all on the same horizontal, so I'm going to uh, go back to my datum point sketch tool, select the horizontal, and I'm going to add my first references. And I want it to go through the center, so I'm going to add that axis. So over here, I want this to kind of come in straight. All right, now. I've got to add another reference right here so I'm going to go to sketch references add this plane add this center line hit close add my point I'm going to add another point because I want it to come out straight instead of bending because it'll start to bend right here if you don't so I'm going to make that 33 I'm going to add this right plane Sketch references, right, and I'm going to add this right on that center line. I'm going to go back to sketch references. This is just a habit of adding my references as I go along. It makes it easier for me to not get confused because you can you have you know so many references that are close together. Let's make that 50, and then I'm going to add in another point right here now you'll notice that there's a point on this center line then it comes up comes back down to this center line which is different and comes back to this center here and then comes out and it's straight so I'm done with those and I'm going to add my last set of datum uh, datum points to this fitting so I'm going to add here and here add my points in I'm going to delete this point right here Okay. I'm just being a little finicky. Uh, you can just click and drag the points or you can put values in. But okay, so now I have my points in. <clears throat> I'm going to go to my tube part. And you'll see I have all these little points. So what I'm going to do is go to insert, model datum, curve. I'm going to use through points. Uh, and for just for this case, I'm going to use a single radius. I'm going to start selecting my points, and it's going to ask me for a bend radius, so I'm going to say, now nah, we'll throw in 20. And I'm just going to keep selecting my points as I go along here. Just one right after another. 
and there you go when I hit OK and I hit done and I hit OK you'll see that it's now created my curve through these points okay and uh, I'm gonna turn my points off now I'm gonna go to insert swept blend if I open my references collector and I select this path, you'll see that it highlights in here. Okay, go to sections. I'm going to select the first point and hit sketch. And I'm going to put in a tube OD of 26.5. Check out of this. I'm going to go to insert again, select the end point, hit sketch draw the end of my tube path in here which is going to be 26.5 again and I'm going to checkpoint out of that and now you'll see my tube starting to take shape and what I'm going to do is make it a solid by selecting this box right here and then right here I'm going to give it a thickness we'll say 1.5 and I'm going to check mark that Turn my planes off and now you can see I have this funky looking little tube and you're like oh how would I position that well that's kind of why I put it in a default location and all of those points uh, follow through those center lines that I put in or center lines of the clips and, and, and uh, planes so if I go back to my assembly you can now see that my tube has been routed through all of those points and it's going to it's going to stay there until one of these clips moves or a fitting moves and uh, then you'll have to adjust your points accordingly or just make a new tube so you can see the tube is rather uh, you know it's rather weird shaped and and not very uh, it's not a very good tube but if I'm looking to just get in a in a approximation of how it would be routed and can I use these clips and should this fitting be here or in some or, you know can I put it somewhere else that would be uh, more beneficial for tube routing and and, and I probably would because <laughs> I don't think this bend here is going to go over very well um, but I just wanted you to kind of get the idea of how you can quickly route a tube uh, from you know through multiple planes along a different path um, quickly just to kind of get a feeling for what your tube is going to look like. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them in the uh, YouTube comments. If you'd like to have this original file so that you could follow along, you can go to GamerGraphics.com and you can actually download the file and their Pro E uh, version 4.0 parts and uh, the pump case I have made uh, unparametized for a reason so uh, just for my own sake but if you would like to do that you, you guys are more than welcome and you can leave feedback so if you have any questions once again you can just leave some feedback in the YouTube thing uh, YouTube feedback and uh, thanks for watching this is uh, Caesar from gamergraphics.com